where you don't want to make a mistake on this restart. Lined up nicely, green flag in the air once again. Good energy from all three rows in the front. It can be hard to pick a favorite coming out of turn two. Still dead even, delivering a lot of pushes. Greg Van Alst has been a heck of a pusher today in that 35. On the bumper of the 44 right now, Jesse Love trying to close the gap on the outside with LeVar Scott. Jesse's a little bit crippled by that damage to the left front. Here comes the rest of the pack. Outside Jack Williams is going to make it three wide. He is. Jack's going to jump to the outside in the six car. I think that was a really good time to do it. I... Look at Christian Rose. Come, coming to help Jack up. Wood. Jack Wood started in the back, fought his way back. He's had some contact, hasn't given up. He's a rev racing car as well. We got two laps to go here. Still even Steven. Two the front laps of the field. to go here at Daytona. Let's keep these cars straight. Still three wide here. Three it's wide. going to take a, take a lot of help away from the from the top lane. See, Jesse Love's having a tough time getting to the back of uh, LeVar Scott. Jack Wood jumped in behind Amber Balkin. Big push from the 35 car. Van Alls pushing the 44. If you're the 35 car, you're trying to get yourself clear to where you can take the run. Not going to have enough great side draft from LeVar Scott to keep the lanes even. I think he did that all by himself, keeping, keeping that outside in the game. It's Jack really Wood move. drops in on that top line. White flag Remember, about to be displayed. Once we get the white flag, the next flag will end this race. There goes Jesse Love making it three wide. Jesse Love three wide into turn one. Jason White. Jason White, White continues to lead. Greg Van Alst is there. So if Connor Mosack. You're trying. You're trying to get the run off the nose of the 18. And if you're if you're Jason White, you're just ready to block it because you know the runs are going to be coming. Right now, the bottom's already not very organized and have to generate another run. Your, your only other opportunity is going to be coming off of turn four. It's all Outside. Jason White right now, but here Outside. comes Greg Van Alst. Ducks out, Connor gets Mosack alongside. They're nose to nose. Greg Van Alst to the lead. Connor Mosack comes with him. Out of turn four. Turn They're wrecking behind turn him. He does it. Greg Van Alst wins it at Daytona. It's a great job. Great way to time out the run, be able to be there. He was up front the entire race, had a fast car. Congrats. He doesn't great even finish. want to back off yet. He's still in the gas. He's still, still, still in the gas. Said, Are you sure? Great Are you sure we won this race? <laughs> Oh, Greg Van Alst, I met his wife earlier. He has four kids. Two are here. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, my God. Holy. This is a man who started racing at ARCA back in 2001, 2002, ran out of money, realized he needed to get a real job, went back to Indiana, built his career, built his business, and now here he is, and he is a full-time driver going for the championship, and he just won it at Daytona. I think we're right, Phil. That that move of the race was was for the win. Yes, for Greg Van for the lead. Yes. You guys, great you job. It. So happy for somebody like that. I can't wait to see this interview. Yeah, he's gonna be so you excited. Know, you know, you could tell he was he, he was in tears. Let's see how it was done. The general tire on board. Getting that push from the 18 car. Yeah. Unfortunately, Jason just missed the block there. You see, he faded one again up to, to cover it. And uh, the 18, he was so lucky that 18 went with him. He could have chose either lane. 18, probably his best chance to win the race was following the 35 through. And um, yeah, it's per perfectly timed moment and was able to, to hold off. You heard the spotter tell him the 18's going with you. So he knew he had help. But he did an outstanding job this entire race. He was 100%. a great pusher. Obviously, he had a fast car himself. He didn't make any mistakes no most of the race. I mean, it's pretty, pretty flawless effort. So CB President Fabrications well has, has helped him get to this point. But you mentioned he ran a black car at the test and said, hey, we need help. And he brought on 20 different sponsors. And it paid off. I mean, this guy has been working in the garage, making plans, getting friends to run with. He's been good down here, but this is the best car that we've seen him have. I'll tell you, you know, his crew chief is Jim Long. Jim Long, a long history in NASCAR winner. 
in NASCAR. It's hard to hard to talk about how how important somebody like Jim Long is for Greg Van Alst as well. I hope you can cover all 20 sponsors in one interview. It's going to be hard. Yeah. That's going. <laughs> so good. See that vein popping out of his head? That's awesome. <laughs> Let's get it down to he Jamie. Flag. Take it in, Jamie. As Greg Van Oss climbed out of that car, he said, guys like me are not supposed to be able to do this. He collects the checkered flag. I'm not sure you can put it into words, but the emotion that you're feeling right now, how much heart went into this win? Oh, it's everything I got. It's the only Speedway car we got. There's no way I was going to bring it home without the steering wheel of the trophy, and that was it. This is for all the short track racers out there that don't think you can get to this level. I've worked my ass off to get here, and we did it! Yeah! Oh, my God. <laughs> I have tears in my eyes. It doesn't get better than that. What a moment. Here right now is the pass for the lead. Great time lead. Had a little bit of help from Connor Mosack. And here, if you're if you're Greg, you're just you're just hoping to finish this thing out. You know you made the right move, you got the right run, you stayed up front the whole race. 18 doesn't have a run, you're finishing it off. It's so special. Greg Van Alls had to get around Jason White. Jason White ended up slipping back and finishing ninth. This was what was ensuing behind them. Yeah, that's John Garrett in the 66. And the finish. Talking about yeah. Daytona and, and, and the dream of racing and dreams being made and realized at this place, that, that interview is everything. That interview yeah. is everything about the Arc Menard series and, and why it's special to, to NASCAR racing in this sport and, and especially and people this like weekend. us. I mean, you, you, you want to race in the Arc Menard series. I want to race in the Arc Menard series, and it was so important. And you see the shot of his crew. It's not like Cup, where those are paid crew members. Those our volunteers, his buddies, the guys who work on his short track car up in Indiana. Such a such a special moment. Think they're going to have fun tonight? I think they're going to have a little <laughs> bit of fun. Kids, your parents are coming home tonight. <laughs> Plenty more action to come. We thank you for watching us. Congratulations to Greg Van Alst. It's a double header though. Xfinity Series action coming up. Let's go now to NASCAR race day.